Mel G. and Ola's Welcome to Bed with Elle for Saturday, November the 26th. We're looking at our weekly statistics for the weekend in Wednesday, November the 23rd, and we're looking for a track where we have a high probability of coming out ahead by looking at our percent in money, percent win rate, percent race. Here we go with Aqueduct. We are, with 36 races, we have 50% in the money, 28% win rate, 11% place. Churchill Downs, 51 races, 49% in the money, 24% win rate, and 20% place. Charlestown, 32 races, 66% in the money, 31% win rate, and 25% place. We have a feature where we can simply click on the column header to do a sort on that particular column. Here we go. Percent in the money, Los Alamitos, 84% in the money, with 39% win rate, Evangeline Downs, 83% in the money, 28% win rate, Mountaineer Park, 82% in the money, 36% win rate. This week, let's uh, see if we can find a race at Mountaineer Park where we have an 82% in the money. Let's go to our rankings. Then we go to Mountaineer Park. And we're looking for November the 26th. Here we go, race one. We're looking for a race where we have a high probability of coming out ahead by looking at our top three horses here. We're looking for a big gap here. Here's actually a big gap between the seven and the four horse, 22, 25 to 11.5. Uh, let's take a quick look and see what kind of a race number one is. Race number one. It's a five frontal claimer with three year olds and up. And we have GPS uh, who ran on June 15th, the 74 by rating at the six furlong, this five furlong sprint race. All right, uh, let's keep uh, race number one in mind where we have a nice big gap between the seven horse and the four horse. Let's uh, take a look at number two. Race number two, 17.5, 13.75, 12. No big gap here, so we're going to skip the race number two. Although, let's take, hold on just a second. Uh, between the four horse and the two horse, there's actually a nice big gap there. Let's take a quick look and see what kind of a race number two is. Race number two is a five and a half full on maiden. Okay, for three year olds, enough with a purse of $7,000. Uh, $7, we like to stay away from maiden races because they are just very unpredictable. So we don't go to race number two for sure. Let's go on to race number three. Race number three, 15, 25, 14, 13.5. No big gap here. So we're going to skip race number three and go on to race number four. 16, 25, 14, 75, 13.5. No big gap here. So we're going to skip race number four and go on to race number five. 14, 25, 13, 25, 11, 25. Again, no big gap here. So we're going to skip race number 5 and go on to race number 6. 17.5, 17, 25, 15, 25. No big gap here. So we're going to skip race number 6. Go on to race number 7. 24, 19.5, 18, 75. Now there's a nice big gap between the two horse and the one horse here. Let's take a quick look and see what kind of race number seven is. Race number seven is an allowance optional claimer with a purse of sixteen thousand for three year olds and up. Let me see here big game Bob who ran August the twenty third at seventy eight by a rate at a five and a half furlong. This is a six furlong, so that's not bad. Big game Bob. Where do we have big game Bob? We have him second. Uh, there's a nice big gap though between the two and the one horse here of 12 points. So we keep race number seven in mind and go on to race number eight. Now, here's a real nice big gap between 30, 25, 28, 25. And the one eight horse is a nice big gap, but then there's not even a bigger gap between the one and the five horse, 17, and an even bigger gap between the one horse and the four horse. So let's take a quick look and see what kind of race number 8 is. Race number 8 is a mile, a starter allowance, first of 19,000 for 3 year olds and up. And you see here Alpha Warrior when uh, September the 12th with a 76 buy rating. Uh, that seems to be really long. 
17 furlongs. Uh, that doesn't sound right. Romance Argentine. Uh, again, this one ran May the 7th, 76 buy rating. Uh, Alpha Warrior had some nice workouts here. 49, 104, 114, 4. Those are nice workouts. Um, let's take a quick look at race number 8 again. Okay, this uh, eight horses in the race, and these three horses really stand out. Um, hmm, I don't like the fact that these were in very long races. I mean, they may have been different type of races. Okay, let's keep race number eight in mind and go to race number nine. 18.5, 15, 25, 12, 25, 6.5. Okay, this is a nice big gap between the one horse and the four horse again. So we have three horses that are most likely going to be in the money. Let's take a quick look at race number nine. Nine is five and a half furlong claimer, purse of six to three hundred for three olds and up. And we see here Tracy Starr ran a 51 rated race on June 20th at the six furlong distance. And um, let's see, that is the last race this week. Uh, I did not like that. So let's um, let's go to race number seven. So for these people that have a premium membership, I'll be doing an in-depth analysis of race number seven. So I hope to see you on the inside at horseraceadvantage.com. We are at Mountaineer Park, race 7.